We're going to build up the next few layers and those are done with acetate so that you can see through them and see right through to this background layer. Now I'm using inkjet acetate which has got a slightly rough surface on it and that helps to uh, absorb the ink, the ink dries quicker on that side. So I'm going to lay it on top of my background and that will give me a guide as to where I want to stamp. Although I'm going to colour it on the reverse and flip it over so I do need to bear that in mind when I'm positioning the stamps. I'm using the nature stamps here and we've got um, some nice mix and match stamps called Autumn Hedgerow and this one here is a sort of like a dogwood rose type design. I'm using a olive green stays on, on this stamp and I'm just going to stamp a couple of times bearing in mind it's going to actually go on that side. I don't want to completely cover the unicorn. That's that one. We'll have a few grasses. starting to build up a little bit of foliage here in the foreground and you can mix and match the different stamps and the different inks but once that's dry what we're going to do is we're actually going to use gel pens to colour that. I'm going to use a slightly lighter shade of green to add some of the solid stamps that are in the set. So we're building up a mixture of different types of foliage. I'll just show you how that's looking without the background, just so you can see the mix of different colours there. I'm just going to finish off with a little honesty stamp that's on this set, just in the foreground. In the middle there. And of course that then, when it's dry, gets flipped over and we're going to colour that in. Now I'm going to colour in the acetate on the same side that I've stamped it and I'm using various different gel pens to do it. I've got the white ink essentials pen here which I'm using to colour this honesty stamp. Now I've finished colouring in the honesty and if I turn that around you can actually see it there nice and white and I'm going to colour some of the other flowers in with a sort of peachy coloured pen. This is one of the souffle pens so it dries nice and opaque. Now I don't need to worry about colouring right over the lines because you'll see those on the other side once the pens dry. So I've coloured in the petals with the peachy colour and I'm just going to put a bit of transparent yellow in the middle and blend that in. And I'll repeat that for all of the other flowers. Okay, so now I've finished colouring in all the flowers and if I turn that round you can see how it looks from the other side. Now we're going to do the next layer of acetate which has got a fairy on it and to do this if you put your flower layer down over your unicorn and work out where you want the fairy to appear, which flower you want it to sit over or whatever. So let's say that I want the fairy to be round about here. I'm actually going to take the back layer away and I'm going to flip that over and put it down that way. So now this is the side that I want my fairy to be on. 
I take my next sheet of acetate, line it up with the first one, turn this round so I can see what I'm doing, and you ink up your fairy. I'm using black stays on this time. And I'm going to stamp the fairy over the flower where I want it to be. Like that. Now the reason I've turned that all over is that when it then goes back the other way on top of the background, we've got the fairy in the right place on the right flower. You can see that there. And that now means that I can put some glitter onto the back of the fairy and when the glitter's dried, here's the one I did earlier. So if I just put all three layers together, you'll see that I've got my fairy in the position that I wanted it.